This is Kirsten Smith, Collections Curator at the Alberni Valley Museum. Today on Museum at Home, we're looking at the Valleyettes. Baton twirling and drum majorettes had become part of popular culture in Canada in the late 1930s and 1940s. It arrived in Port Alberni in 1948 with the Valleyettes, a drill team sponsored by the BPO Elks. In existence for eight years, from 1948 to 1956, the Valleyettes took part in every major event held in Port Alberni and also travelled for parades and performances. They visited a number of places on Vancouver Island. Here we see them marching in a parade in Victoria. In 1951, a 15-car convoy transported the group to Duncan for a performance. They also travelled on the Lower Mainland and BC Interior, visiting Chilliwack, Mission and Penticton. They performed at halftime at a BC Lions game in Vancouver, and they traveled across the prairies with a number of stops on their way to perform at an Elks convention in Saskatoon. The Valleyettes were supported by the local Elks Lodge. When trying to hire a majorette group to be part of the Elks annual May Day celebration, Elks leader Cliff Lee was put out by the $200 fee. He said, give me $150 and we'll have our own drill team. Early training for the group was provided by Bob Fulton, as well as Miss Robbie Brown and Mrs. Lois Tassie. These two women had experience in Canadian Women's Forces and assisted in the drilling. The name for the team was decided in a contest. Bob Fulton won a two-pound box of chocolates for coming up with the name Valiettes. In the early years, members mainly made their own outfits, white blouses and skirts with a purple belt, tasseled boots ordered from Vancouver at $3 a pair, and homemade paper hats. The Fuller Brush Man was an Elks member and donated 32 pastry brushes to provide the plumes for the hats. In later years, the uniforms were made by seamstresses Ethel Best and Ivy McKenzie. The satin uniform with purple cape was decorated with military-inspired buttons and braiding, typical of majorette teams. The matching satin hat was emblazoned with the Elks logo. The team made their first appearance on May 24, 1949, as part of the Elks May Day celebrations. The initial group had 32 members, 24 with 6 spares. The age limit at that time was 16 to 30, and many of the members were young married women. By 1952, the Valiette ranks were filled mainly with teenagers, and some drummers were younger than that. On April 29, 1950, the famed English entertainer Gracie Fields was brought in by the Elks to perform a concert at the Drill Hall, what we know as Glenwood, and the Valiettes provided an honour guard. It's a task they would repeat in Parksville in 1951, serving as honour guard for Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip. The group grew over the years, with reportedly up to 120 members, though the largest group photos show numbers closer to 60. The team expanded to include an acrobatic section, bagpipe, bugle, and drum bands. In this 25-year reunion photo, we see former members of the Valleyettes modeling the different hats worn. This Glengarry hat was part of the band's kilted uniform. The era of the Valleyettes ended in 1956, when organizational and expense difficulties led to the disbanding of the group. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the Alberni Valley Museum's Museum at Home.